So hey guys, it's Steven here from Talking Point. So I need my own avatar, which is why Raymond is here. You're gonna create me, is that right? Yeah, correct, Steve. I'm gonna make an avatar that just look like you in a digital world. Just like me or better looking than me? Even better. Than Even me. better, okay, that's what I wanted to hear. Except I got this pimple. Take two shots, huh? okay, turn again. Uh, right side. So we just keep turning 45 degrees. We shoot a different angle of Steve so that we can have an actual reference of how he looks like, his height, his features. So tonight on Talking Point, I go with Take it as like you are like looking at the clothing for You're maybe like one, two seconds, then you swipe again. So we're all done with the shoot here and it'll take Raymond about three weeks to make this avatar of mine. I'm actually pretty curious to see how it will turn out and if it will truly be as good looking as me. We constantly have to go to the reference at the front view, right? Try to get as close as possible, like the nose, the mouth, the lips, everything. This part of here, maybe I should make it lower a bit. This part, okay. Here, maybe stand out a bit more. Ah, okay, looks good. I believe Steve will be satisfied. So now we try to kind of like make it like a skin texture. We can just paint in the shadow, even the lips. Oh, the lip, lip fillers. Uh. So even the eyebrow, you know, just bit by bit paint. A bit of wrinkle, not too much for Steve. What we are seeing here is kind of like a face, like a globe open up, like a world map. So we can even like go close up to this detail and kind of like continue painting from here. It's good to have a base first, then from there, if we need Steve to be even more realistic, we can just add on further from there. For example, I'm trying to create the spine first. Okay, it doesn't really have to be like a skeleton, but it kind of have the key joint part. So now we create every part of the thing, even the fingers, the leg. So at this point, I will start to move a bit. What we need to do is to bind his body towards the skeleton that we just created. Wherever we move him, he will just move accordingly. This is the part where everything will look very robotic because it's not really uh, in the animation stage yet. This software itself is created for like animating in a more natural motion way. So this is a reference that we shot in the green screen. This function is an automated function where we can use AI to track how the voice is and we can even generate text of the actual script. We can kind of like check out whether are the words correct because it might affect the lip sync. How the mouth movement, whether is it open, close, all this, right? You try to go as close as possible. So after studying Steve's expression again and again and again, so we realized that uh, he liked to kind of like twist his head a bit and uh, eyebrow motion a lot. So this is something that we need to take note of. So we can adjust some of the eyebrow. Look a bit too sad. I don't think this looks good. So when you're smiling, your eyebrow can't really be in this position because it look a bit not natural. Okay, I think this is good. So as you can see at this point, most people at every few seconds, they will blink their eyes. So this can make a person look very alive, especially when they are stressing some of the keywords. Okay, I'm ready. So maybe I want to start off him smiling a bit. So I kind of like adjust the mouth. Maybe the smile can be a bit more, a bit too cheeky, maybe not. But the reason why I raise his hand first is because during the reference video, that was what he do. Okay, I'm ready. So tonight on Talking Point, I go where few have gone before into the metaverse. Find out how it will change our lives.
the heart looks a bit not real, we can improve on that with a bit more veins. And the environment, it might not look like Mars, so maybe we have to add a space suit, then people look even more in the present in that space. So, it's obviously me, but not quite me at the same time, you know what I mean? I like to think that I'm way cooler, especially in real life. But if you could create your own avatar in the Metaverse, what would you pick? How would you make yourself look and sound? Do let us know in the comments below. And of course, catch this special episode of Talking Point. And as usual, hit the subscribe button.